What's up guys, it's Brandon Jay, and today I've got a pretty cool video. I've been listening to all you guys in the comment sections, and I actually had about two or three comments from one of my last videos telling me to dive these bridges here behind me. Now, I've never actually thought about doing this. Normally we hit where most of the fishermen are, and obviously it's, it's kind of hard for people to fish off this because you're not allowed to. However, I did have a couple people tell me that you know, sometimes people throw things off the bridges, so potentially we could find some really cool stuff there. So I took it into consideration and I think we're gonna be doing it today. Since we're gonna be diving the bridges, I wanted to bring my friend Tristan along with me today. So we do have Yappy Tuan Tuan in the building. What's up, guys? Dude, how long has it been since it you've been? It has been on? so long. It's been literally, I have been literally like, a month. I just wanna go swimming. <laughs> I just wanna go swimming. It's been like a month, right? It's literally been. So it's good to finally have my buddy T back out here with me today. He has a YouTube channel as well, it'll be linked in the description below you can go check out his video from this dive on his channel so in one of my last videos i actually did a giveaway this was the first time i ever gave away river treasure and you guys absolutely loved it those four winners have already been chosen and those packages have been sent out but i decided since it was so successful and you guys liked it so much i'm going to do it again so whatever we find in this video if we find a gopro if we find a cell phone you guys are gonna be getting that. Even if we find some terrible lures, I'm gonna be sending those out to you guys. But I'm also gonna do a little bit better. I'm going to personally go out and buy some lures, buy some really nice stuff that you guys can go out and fish with, and I'm gonna send that along with the River Treasure as well. So, we're gonna do four more winners. There is three ways to enter, or there's not three ways. There's three things you gotta do to enter the giveaway. You have to be subscribed to the channel, you have to thumbs up this video, and you have to follow me on, what is it, Tristan? Instagram you can check it out right here. It's Brandon M. Jordan. Go check me out on Instagram. That's where you get the Behind the scenes scoop really we're always doing a lot of lives and a lot of uh, fun stuff on Instagram So don't miss out make sure you go follow me and from that point I will pick four winners I will private message you and then I'll get your shipping address We'll ship you off some river treasure and some good old bass fishing lures or whatever kind of lures you guys use with that being said It's time for us to get in the water and go dive Let's go T, you remember how to swim? It's been about a month for you, man. You think you got it? Here we go, it's time to get in the water. The water. Oh. Wow. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> so quick river update um, basically I was diving I kept hearing this vibration in the water Check this out, this is really cool. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I could hear it in the water and it was so strange. I got out of the water to see what was going on and look at this. There's a freaking train crossing the tracks right behind us right here. It's so insane. We were actually in the water and I kept hearing these vibrations and I asked Tristan if he could hear that and it sounded like a big thunder underwater. Now this train might have been like half a mile away, but you could hear it rumbling through the water, which is pretty cool. And now this train's actually passing over us. So it's pretty cool. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm gonna wait until this train crosses and I'm gonna get back in the water. All right, guys, I had to show you this really quick. I'm gonna get into more detail, but just as a surprise, look how big and ridiculous this lure is. I'm gonna show you guys this in a little more detail later, but um, yeah, it's a pretty ridiculous lure. 
I'm gonna hop back in the water and uh, see if we can find some more treasure. So I actually just found a Fitbit, which is really cool. I've actually never found one of these before. And um, I'm not sure if you can get information off of these uh, and find the owner or even if they're waterproof, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of researching on this, but just want to hop out of the water and show you guys the, the best find of the day so far. I mean, this is, this is a really good find. <laughs> All right guys, so I actually found this little comb. Tristan has no idea, but I'm going to be combing his hair by the end of this video with this, I guarantee it. All right, I'm gonna get back in the water. I just wanted to show that to you guys. That's like a messed up science experiment. What should we do? You gotta hold on to that, dude. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> All right guys, well the water actually came up a little faster than we expected. It was supposed to rise at about three and it started rising at like two o'clock. So the dive got cut a little bit short. However, we were able to find enough stuff to uh, make the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the finds. We did find a lot of lures, believe it or not. I wasn't expecting to find a lot of lures around the bridge, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the untraditional finds first, and then I'll show you all the lures. So let's take a look at what we got. All right, so first off, I'm gonna show you guys some of the stranger finds for today. Got a comb. Actually, you know what? Tristan, come here, buddy. I've always needed a river brush. You know what? It looks, you know, it, it looks a little sideways. I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna. There it is. Oh yeah. There's actually some sand that oh, just came. Oh yeah. yeah. Is that good? We could I just think keep, I look good. Yeah. You know what? We could just keep that right there. We could keep that right there. Got my river brush. That looks great, dude. You look great. Out with the old, and in with the new. <laughs> These glasses, I literally can't see anything. How do I look? I can't, I can't tell. I have no idea. <laughs> In all actuality, these aren't too bad of a find though. They're actually pretty cool. And these are gonna be sent out to one of you guys. I, I don't know what you're gonna do with them. It's not like you can see through them very well, uh, but, but somebody's gonna get them. I guess it's better than a dirty river fluke. Got a battery. Not really that cool, but I got a can tab. Okay, this next find is pretty dope. I was really excited when I found this. I actually found a Fitbit. Now, I've never actually found one of these before. I found a few watches, um, found some glasses, found some jewelry, but I've never found a Fitbit. Now, this is pretty cool, and I'm a little curious on how someone lost this because the the snap, I mean, there's two, uh, I don't know, locking mechanisms that go in, so I'm not really sure how somebody lost this. Um, and I'm not too sure if you can pull off the information off of this and maybe find the owner. I don't really know too much about Fitbit, so I'm gonna look into this. If I can find the owner, obviously I'll send it back. If not, one of you guys is gonna get a waterlogged <laughs> Fitbit. I doubt it works, but uh, I'm not really sure. I don't even know if they're waterproof, so. Pretty interesting find though. Found a paddle. 
<laughs> really though, whoever lost this, they like broke it in half and lost half of it. So, you know they were on the river struggling halfway down. I almost forgot. How could I forget this? I found a strap. Just a, just a random strap. I don't know what it goes to. All right, guys, we are now moving on to the lures. Now, I found a bunch of lures, so I'm not going to show you all of those, but I am going to show you the coolest ones. Big swim bait. Another big swim bait. A little bit smaller, but still a swim bait. And then you got this big, ugly dude. This used to be white. Look at how nasty that is. The hook's all rusted off. It's completely gone. This thing has been in the river a long time. This is by far one of the grossest swim baits ever. Moving on to worms. It's a little bit interesting. We normally don't find worms in the river. These fish normally eat shad. That's their main source of food. So not too many people fish with worms. However, I found quite a few. So I'm gonna show you some of those. Worm. I know this looks like the same worm, but it's not the same worm. It's a different worm. A little bit smaller, but still looks like the same worm. I know. And then we got this little dude. Somebody wacky rigged this on like a crappie jig head. I don't know what they were thinking. Speaking of crappie jigs, I seem to find a lot of these lately. Crappie jig one, crappie jig two. This one's a little busted up, so crappie jig two and a half. Lost count, this is another crappie jig. This guy was throwing two of them, got a little creative, but used way too big of a hook for these little bitty baits. I did find this little guy, which is pretty cool. It's like a uh, little rattle trap, little baby rattle trap. I've got this right here, which is pretty interesting. It looked like it used to be a diver, but it's uh, it's completely crusted up now. Just one fluke for today, which is pretty surprising. Oh no, where's that giant one at? And to finish off some of my favorite finds, I'm gonna show you my giant baits now. These are the big boys. These guys were going after some like 50 pound stripers. There's only like 20 pound stripers in here, but you know, same thing. First off, we have the Goliath Lizard. This thing is ridiculously big. I don't know who in their right mind was fishing with something like this but this is definitely the biggest lizard lure I've ever seen in my life. We've got another ridiculously big fluke here. Oh, let's open this up. Yeah, just, just full of grossness. River grossness right here. Big nasty fluke. Now, last but not least, this lure wins most ridiculous lure of the day. It is the craziest jig I have ever found in the river by far. Look at this big, ugly thing. Now, I don't think the trailer used to be this big, I'm pretty sure it got waterlogged and just expanded, but this is ridiculous. It's a big white jig with like the most like ridiculous claws you have ever seen. I don't really know what someone was thinking when they were throwing this thing. All right, so those are my best finds for today. Now, Tristan actually found something really cool. Well, it's really weird. We don't know exactly what it is. Um, and you can actually go check out Tristan's channel and see all of the stuff he found. But we're gonna give you a little preview. Check this thing out. So you found this, T. This is it. <laughs> what? What is in there? I, I have no idea. But we are gonna open it on my channel. So that'll be interesting. I'm feeling like, dude, it's gonna stink. I, it has to. Like, I have no idea it's what this is. It almost looks like bags of stuff in there. I don't know if you <laughs> can see it that it's well on the camera, but there's definitely a lot of like weird <laughs> stuff in there. <laughs> really weird stuff in here. So I have no idea what is in here, but I'm super excited to open it up. We find some weird stuff in this river and there's no telling what could be in that jar. I mean, it could be really lame, it, but it really could be something cool too. So you never really know. Make sure you guys head over to Tristan's channel. You can actually check it out over there. Well, that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's always fun diving these new spots. The bridge was actually pretty cool. There was some deep parts. There was a lot of wood and there was a lot of steel down there, which I guess could be expected. We didn't find anything absolutely crazy, but we did find some cool stuff. And if you guys wanna win that cool stuff, make sure you follow the three rules for the giveaway. Have to be subscribed, have to like this video, and follow me on Instagram. It's right here again, Brandon M. Jordan. Go check it out. We do a lot of fun stuff. You get to see a lot of the cool behind the scenes stuff there. Also, if you want to check out Tristan's channel and you want to see whatever was in that weird jar he found, make sure you go check out the link below as well. His channel will be in the description. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I have a great time making these videos and I'm looking forward to doing more River Treasure. Let me know in the comment section below what other adventures you want to see. I got the diving from the bridge idea from you guys, so let me know some other diving opportunities that you think would be really cool. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. The water is rising rapidly, so the wave downtown is going to be pretty good. Me and Tristan are about to go hop on the river boards, go ride the wave. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out. Tristan is seriously trying to catch this duck right now. What are you doing, man? I want to touch the duck. <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? I'm trying to get to touch the duck. <laughs>
<laughs> Come here. Come here. Come on. You're treating it like a dog. Come here, baby. <laughs> Come on. You know you want this plastic bag. It's good. Come on. Dude, he's gotten so close and I didn't want to scare him. <laughs> 